Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back in the NASCAR map, and I hope you enjoyed that little intro showing you guys as to what you're going to see here today. Now, I talked a little bit last Tuesday about starting a prison up, and that is still the plan. Hopefully I'll have an episode about that out tomorrow. So remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel, and let's go check out these creations. Alright, so the NASCAR track itself hasn't changed. I did try to light it up like you guys wanted to see, and unfortunately that became way too laggy with all the lights and the night mod. So I don't know what we're going to do there, it's probably just going to have to stay a day track. So anyways, what we've got here, this is another couple things you guys had been requesting. You wanted to see one of the truck series trucks, and you wanted to see a transporter. So we've got both of those, uh, both are actually really detailed. And I have to say, the truck handles a lot better than my first attempt at the NASCAR. So, we're going to check that out here in a second. I'm actually going to set that over to the side. And we're going to check out the transporter first. Now, one more thing I want to hear from you guys. And I should have mentioned this the first episode. We need a name for the NASCAR track. I was thinking about it and I really couldn't figure out one that I liked. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. We will run a poll uh, probably in the next episode. And then we'll eventually name it and make a nice little sign for the track. So anyways, we are here at the transporter. Now you will notice a little bit of lag. And let me go ahead and pull up the spider web here. I have a car up in the top of this. A lot of these NASCAR haulers, at least the modern ones, uh, they have like a little section up at the top that carries cars. You'll have like a main car and a backup car. And I have to say, I didn't waste any space inside of this trailer. Uh, you got a couple glimpses of it in the intro. Now the truck itself, this is from Tuesday's episode. This was the custom Freightliner. It had a little low boy trailer on it. Uh, it is, for the most part, it's the same. I did have to make a couple adjustments with the suspension and power levels because we're hauling around a whole lot more than a little low boy trailer. I'll go ahead and give you guys a brief glimpse of the inside if you didn't watch Tuesday's episode. Uh, you can see fully detailed interior. Let's go ahead and delete that. You've got a nice sleeping quarters in the back. Go ahead and hop into here. I want to show you guys that this thing actually does tow around the trailer. Uh, that's been one challenge that I've always come across in Scrap Mechanic when you're trying to make some sort of trailer or big powerful vehicle that's going to tow something around was the two problems were the power levels and the whole fact that they don't like to turn. But this diesel does have the double bearings so it turns pretty good. You don't want to turn too fast because it will attempt to flip over but for the most part it's pretty stable. I think the uh, flipping over is also an increase because of the whole fact that I have a car up at the top of the trailer and it really likes to kind of sway over and the weight will shift. But yeah, the uh, truck itself does work. Now, this track is a short track. Uh, most NASCAR tracks, the haulers would park in the middle of the track. I don't have that area, so we're going to have to make like an outdoor or an outside garage or we'll say, we'll call it the hauler lot. We already have a garage over there. And to get into the inside. We're probably going to have to do a gate. Now, most NASCAR tracks do not do gates anymore. A couple of the short tracks do. Gates are a little bit dangerous because there's been a couple accidents where somebody left the gate unlocked and a car hit it and yeah, it's not pretty. So, I'll have to see what we're going to do there. Uh, most NASCAR tracks now use like a tunnel system to get to the infield. So, I don't know. We'll see what we're going to have to do to get the cars on the inside. We might just not do the gate and just kind of spawn the cars in the garages. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this up here and we're ready to go over the trailer's interior. Now, this trailer is absolutely massive. It's got all the lights. Uh, somebody told me these are actually called like chicken lights. And I was like, that is a weird name for these little orange lights that are on the sides of a lot of these vehicles. You've got all the brake lights back here. Now, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. You use the uh, bottom one first and then the uh, second key there that actually opens the interior door. Uh, you can see up there, there is a truck mounted. Now, the video might be a bit laggy, but as soon as we cut that out, uh, everything goes back to normal. It's really strange how Scrap Mechanic does that. I'm not really sure what the cause is, but it just doesn't like it. So, we've got that. Now, there is a side entrance over here. So, say if it's during the race weekend, uh, you don't have to only go in the back. You can always go here and to the side. So, we're going to go over this in detail. Let's go ahead and get that car out. Now, most, or almost every NASCAR uh, hauler like this has this little back door will be on like a piston. 
and it will slide up midways and they'll roll the car back onto the door and they'll lower it. And obviously we don't have a piston here in scrap mechanics so that was virtually impossible for me to do. I started to work on a system and then I realized how many bearings were on it and this creation's already laggy enough with the car in it so I didn't want to make it to where you guys couldn't play with it. So to get the car out you're just going to come up here and cut the caution blocks. Now it's loose and you can see we got all of our frames back too. So you can just grab it and you can slide it out here. Now this will fit the truck and it will fit the NASCAR. You can actually stuff two cars in there if you want it to. That's a pretty deep area. Uh, yeah, you can see it. It goes all the way almost to the front. The actual front of the trailer, there's like a little living quarters. So normally they cut off about right here. Now another thing they might haul around in the top side, maybe some of the pit boxes and some of the extra toolboxes that, that they actually carry out to pit road. But I don't have any of those built yet. Now, what I'm really proud of, let's go ahead and open this door here. The interior. I think this looks absolutely awesome. I was looking at a lot of reference pictures from the NASCAR haulers. And even they had some diagrams and some layouts showing just how these things work. And they're just like a little mini racing HQ. And I think it's absolutely awesome. So, yeah, this button up here, this will turn on the lights. Uh, this button will close the door here. This uh, front area is morely for the pit crews and the people who work on the cars. You've got all the extra spare parts, all the toolboxes down here. Uh, this trailer is using mods. Now, don't worry, the NASCAR world itself doesn't use them. So if you just want to have the world and maybe have your own race cars, you can still download this without the mods. Uh, but the trailer itself does have them. You've got all the little computers up here. All during the uh, race weekend, they're constantly looking at like telemetry, maybe the race broadcast, and just scoping out the competition. So you have all the uh, monitors up here, more toolboxes. Back here, this is like where they keep all the shocks. I know a lot of you guys like to role play with my stuff, so this would be kind of cool if you wanted to download the trailer and you can work in the garage, maybe replace the shocks on the cars. Kind of do whatever you guys do with it. So you've got all that. Now, I would have liked to have made it to where you could open all these drawers up, but there just isn't enough room in here. This hauler is tight. Like, I couldn't make it really wide, so it is kind of a shame that most of the drawers don't open. Now, stuff like this here, you can pop these... Oh, hit the wrong one there. You can pop these open. Uh, these are probably morely for st storage for uh, maybe the uniforms for the crew, maybe the driver uniforms. You go back in here, there's more work tables, some more general storage out in this area. Uh, you can see more toolboxes, could possibly be even more areas where they're storing gear, Maybe shoes. I mean, they carry a lot of stuff to the racetrack. So back here, now that is the spot where the end of the top, uh, where I showed you earlier, where it ends. And then it kind of climbs. We are right, here I'll show you the side door. We're right at the front of the trailer here. And most of these uh, fronts have an area right above the hitch. It's like a little meeting area slash living quarters. So we can pop this open up here. We've got a couch in here, TV, maybe a couple more monitors, say practice is going on, they can go check some stuff out. Uh, the lights work in here. So say if the team's going to debrief after a long day of practice or even the race, they can come into here or maybe the driver needs some privacy, he's got a change or something. He can come up in this little area here. So overall, I am extremely happy with this trailer. I'm happy that it works. That was my one worry when somebody said, hey, you need to build a NASCAR transporter. I was like, oh boy. I was like, that is going to be heavy. So, does work. Easy to drive around. I will have a version of this on the workshop with the trailer and truck. And then I'll probably maybe do a second one with the car mounted in. If not, I would just suggest that you guys weld the car in yourselves. But we're going to get rid of this. Actually, let's just stick it over here. It's not lagging that bad. We're going to check out the uh, new truck that we have here. All right, we are on to the NASCAR truck here. This is a part of the Campy World Truck Series. I must say I did a better job with this one than I did on the NASCAR. The NASCAR one, I, its handling was a little off and it wasn't as fast as I wanted it to be. Now that's not to say that this track still isn't really bumpy. And I do thank you guys for all the suggestions that you gave me to maybe use different materials. But as of right now, as of what I'm aware of, most of the materials are still bumpy when they get dragged along and you get these really long strips of it, even with the cuts. Uh, there's not really many ways to fix that right now, but I do thank you guys for suggesting uh, different things to try to fix it. 
So, the Camping World truck here, much like the other NASCAR, runs off of a single gas motor, but it does have these thrusters placed in here, and this is kind of to help pin the car down uh, for the bumps. The suspension setup, everything's pretty simple in here because the body itself was really tight, and I had to add a lot of blocks to the inside of it to weigh it down a bit to make it feel heavy and also help it over the bumps. Now, I would say the design here probably looks closest to the Ford they have in the uh, series. The Ford has like the double headlights, the pretty big and exaggerated grill. Now, a lot of people don't know the grills on the NASCARs most of the times are stickers. Uh, the actual grills a lot of times will set down really low, so that's why that little black thing is right there. It's like the opening for the grill itself. Uh, the suspension has been set up for this one. I believe I've got it at a pretty appropriate level. But yeah, we're ready to hop in here. Oh, and by the way, somebody asked last episode why I didn't review the ambulance and the wrecker. And anybody that's been a viewer for a while knows that those are from the town. So that's why I didn't show those off last episode. They're just there for background. So let's go ahead and look at the interior. I like the interior on this one. It feels nice and cozy. Got quite a bit of headroom since it's a truck. Uh, you've got your little gear shifter, a couple switches here. The hood does open up. Well, actually, that's the hood. That's the uh, downward thrusters. So we've got that. Now, if you do want to get out of it, if you see the three discolored blocks up there, those are seat blocks. So say if you can't get out or you get stuck in the car, just look up and you can get right out of it. So let's go ahead. We're going to activate those thrusters and we're going to pull out a pit lane here. Now, this one is faster than the other car, but you still kind of have to be careful and the bumps still are a thing. But they have gotten a lot better with this vehicle opposed to the NASCAR. The NASCAR, I was... I was just doing jumps basically like here you can see it's still bouncing but it's not too bad so it still gets around the corner it is quite heavy I used a lot of the heavyweight blocks here in the uh, Durf mod I know they kind of look like plain blocks but they're actually the heavy version of them and it seems to have helped a bit also with both the bumps and the steering so I'm pretty happy with that I did try to make it as fast as possible let's go to the interior here it actually looks pretty cool from the inside so yeah, this would be something I think you guys would dig to uh, kind of play around with your friends. I know some people are going to ask, I get asked every time I do like a build between the Monster Jam or say the NASCAR builds, people are like, hey, you need to do that multiplayer Monday. And I don't think we're going to necessarily do these things in multiplayer Monday, but it doesn't mean I can't get some of my YouTube buddies around and maybe we'll do a race for you guys, maybe paint our own cars and we'll do that. But as far as it actually being a challenge, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, jumped a little sideways there. But yeah, as you can see, it's still not perfect, but it is definitely better than the uh, other car. I don't think we're ever going to get over this bump thing. You know, I really need to uh, maybe email the uh, developers and see if they know exactly what this is and what might be causing it. <laughs> because really, it's a block that should be smooth, yet it doesn't act like it. All right, we're on the final lap here. We're going to pull down pit lane. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little episode. This is morely a vehicle build that we've kind of been doing this a lot more recently. It's been fun to get in and actually just create some vehicles and create some awesome things that you guys can interact with. So I do thank you guys for supporting things like this. Now, like I said, tomorrow we're going to try to get that prison going. And that's going to be mostly a building structure build. I don't know if we're going to have really any vehicles with it. I think I might do a prison bus, but other than that, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and pop out of this. This looks actually kind of silly that you're you're hopping out of it like that, but yeah. So I need to think about it for a little bit, see which vehicles I'm going to do, and how I'm going to split those episodes up, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big prison. And if you guys don't already know, it is going to be in the truck stop world. Since it kind of fits the whole vibe out there, it's kind of a desert, maybe a high security prison somewhere. It's not necessarily beside the businesses but close to them but anyways folks hopefully you enjoyed this episode here today if you'd like to like and subscribe everything helps my channel i will link my workshop down in the description just go through my steam group page if you want to join that uh, you'll get all the latest news if something's happening or if an episode's about to come out i normally post in there and try to interact with you guys through that so if you want to join that that's linked down in the description be yeah, out, comment below with suggestions for the NASCAR build, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.